Hello and welcome back to Bozotopia! The last episode we built this place, as well as this place, and this. We also went to the deep dark, but we didn't actually get any swift sneaks, so we're gonna have to do that some more this episode, sometime. But before that, I want to build a boat, and I'll tell you exactly why. We're at the stage of the game where whenever we need something, we need a lot of it. And we could just say that everyone can use all the farms we build, but then the person who actually spends the time to build that farm doesn't get any compensation for his hard work. Which is why we invented capitalism. We've already performed some minor exchanges of goods with each other, but now we're planning to establish a proper economy. I, for example, don't feel like making an entire creeper farm to get firework rockets when I can just buy some in Monster Man's shop. But I have built a quad Drupal villager exploitation setup connected to an automatic melon and pumpkin farm, so I'm planning to sell golden carrots, which is what the boat is for. So yeah, here you go. This actually turned out surprisingly well for my, uh, like, general boat making skills. I sell carrots for one diamond block per stack, which is the price people agreed was reasonable. Okay, this is pretty funny. Milk saw my last video where I complained about his unspawn-proofed roof, and now there is like an actual billion amount of torches here. It's so petty, I love it. Next up, I want to make a totem shop, because that's one of the most demanded things in the entire server. These little things that actually save you from death. And I think they nerfed raid farms, so you can't actually farm these fully automatically anymore. But I don't want to do anything fancy like that. I think I just want to get like a village with flat terrain where I can do a bunch of raids. I've actually been using this ender chest all the time to get things because I lost my own ender chest. Yeah, actually, let me just make a new one right now. I think Milk said something about... Yeah, yeah, this uh, this tunnel is now covered up with a bunch of random blocks, but it's still... It's much safer now. Only problem is I have no idea where the stronghold is now. Unless this is like a side tunnel that leads up to it. Nope. Oh. Ah, he made a staircase. Okay, well, that's nice. Getting over to the Enderman farm... Oh yeah, right, this actually has a, an automatic Ender Pearl disposal system. But if I just overload it enough, I can probably get my Ender Pearls. Also, there's this manual off switch in case you accidentally drop one of your items in it. Which I think is pretty pretty cool that they added that. Uh, bam. Can you restock the Garrett? What? What? Did he already buy everything? That's the thing, Milk is extraordinarily rich. Oh my god, he bought everything. Look at him. Look, he's already buying more. What the? How do? Why do you need so many garrets? What? What? I want more. Dear God, villagers haven't even restocked yet, so I can't even get more. Okay, I'm gonna need all of this. I've been buying ominous bottles from people. Going to take one shulker box in case I need to put my totems in there. I don't appear to have arrows on me, so I'll probably just get some from Monster Man's mob farm. Pretty sure the entry fee is still just ten emeralds. No, it's 20 diamonds. Okay, touche. Fair enough. Still a pretty reasonable price. Especially for all that gunpowder. I just realized, do I really need to get rockets from his shop if I can just get gunpowder for much cheaper? Might have to consult my financial advisors, but other than that... Yeah, that's six and a half stacks of gunpowder for 20 diamonds. Anyway, now I'm going to find a village to do all this raiding in. Suckers have no idea what's about to hit them. This is our first candidate. Not very flat terrain. Raiders might spawn on the hillside, like here. This is even, like, this is much better terrain. If I can get villagers over here... Oh, maybe I should have brought the supplies for iron golems. Okay, I am going to... Ooh, rain. I am going to remove all the beds and place them in one single home, so all the villagers go over there when I ring a bell. Okay, if I now ring a bell... Is there... There is a bell. I didn't bring any food. I, I, I sold all of it. This will suffice. Actually, I'm probably not that far. I can... Oh, just... Nah, it's fine. Okay. Ding, you all run inside, drink a bottle. You know, ideally, I'd have a completely flat area, because the process I need to make efficient is getting the raiders to spawn, finding them, and killing them. The less time I spend on that, the less time I spend on getting totems. Okay, so where do they spawn? So they spawn over here, which is not... Obviously, I still need to remove the trees. I'm getting damaged quickly, and I can't heal very quickly because I don't have garrets. Oh my gosh! He's holding out a flower! I forgot they did that! Man, one small feature that I'm really thankful for that they added is the fact that you can swap between your elytra and your chest plate by just right-clicking on your hotbar. Because it used to be that I had to do this and press 1, but you, you need to actually access your inventory for that, which is just a tiny inconvenience, but the fact that you can just do this, it's... 
It's very handy. Yeah, they're just in the village now, and this is not a good spot. There is this place where all the ice is, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's where I harvested my ice. And here is a village. And as you can see, the terrain is incredibly flat. Uh, yeah, just, just go in there. Okay, so those villagers are going to be the center. I think we'll just remove all the rest of this. Okay, that's it. I know this looks horrendous right now, but it'll probably be fixed when it snows. Besides, we don't care about looks here because we are only interested in functionality. And the functionality of this place is that there aren't a lot of places for raiders to hide. I guess maybe they could spawn over here, but that would really not be that much of an inconvenience. So it's time to don my battle gear. I'm going to see if they spawn on the ice. They don't? Okay. Not that that actually poses a problem. Because there's still plenty of spawning space for them, but that's interesting. Hey, the villagers actually spawn iron golems automatically. And they help with cleaning up Vexus. That is pretty cool. So after defeating all those raids, I have a lot of miscellaneous junk. But I also have a shulker box and a half of totems. So I think it's pretty safe to say that this is indeed a functional business model. And turns out that it is. By buying ominous bottles from whoever offered them and selling totems to whoever wanted them, I quickly created a business empire. And I hadn't even built a shop yet. Speaking of which, let's fix that. As I do with pretty much every creative project, I basically just start doing stuff and see where that gets me. I already have a pre-established theme around this whole ancient ruin, lush cave type mountain base, so I just placed down some pillars next to the entrance, and when I thought that looked pretty good, I created a hole in one of them and terraformed a little cave inside, where Groovy, my longtime pet llama who unfortunately hasn't gotten any screen time until now, can vibe and sell stuff. Also on sale are shulker boxes, because I have a lot of them and no one else is selling them. But those don't do very well. Anyway, one thing that would make the totem production rate even more efficient is a good use of beacons. So, because I was waiting for Monster Man to get on so we could go end busting together, I found a pretty good spot to farm Wither Skellies and gathered 9 skulls. And after pulling some advanced mathematics, I concluded that that would allow me to create roughly 2 Withers. Maybe a little more. I could just beat the wither the normal way, but I could also kill it in one hit using the mace, and I think that's way more exciting, so I'm doing that. In no feasible scenario could this possibly backfire. Oh. Boop. Uh, I guess then we'll fly up. I'm imagining it has to be from pretty high up. Well, that didn't work. Oh, you're chasing me now. Oh, I see. Is he really just going to stay up there? Yeah, I mean, I, he doesn't care. He can just shoot me from up there. He did not stay up there. He did not stay up there. Oh, God. Okay, there we go. Melee phase. I think I'm about to pop. Yeah. No matter. I have two more tries. I really want to get this right because it would be very epic. No, he moved. That is so hard to do, because he keeps moving away. Yeah, frick. I actually hit him. But it didn't deal damage. Or did it? Is it gone? Wait, what? The boss bar disappeared. Yeah, it's dead! I killed it in one hit! Oh my god! But really, I would love to hear that satisfying crunch as I crush its spinal cord. So this time, I'm going to summon it in a hole, and hopefully it'll stay there. You stay put, okay? Is it growing? I never actually noticed that. They grow before they summon. Come on. Oh! Oh, yeah! <gasps> I just thought of something. What did you think of? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show you, show you when you get here. I am here. I don't see you. Well, maybe you should get better eyes. But, I'm, where are you? I'm here. Where is here? In my base. How did you get get up here? Get get up. Get up to the entrance area. And stand right here. Damn it. Didn't work. I don't have a totem on me, you evil little bozo. Oh. You 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 despicable little you little little monster. I need to get a okay, I'm gonna buy a totem gonna buy a totem from yourself. From my own shop, yeah. But where is the totem shop? Here. Where's here? Where I'm standing. I lost track of you. Where did you go? I'm still standing. After all this time. 
Oh, there should be a honeycomb on that. Oh. Uh... What's the bottom? Uh... Then look at this coming. groovy! That's the one llama I used to transport blocks. stone here. Yeah, just uh, don't buy anything yet, don't buy anything yet. Just give me one second. What do you mean, one don't buy anything second. yet? Don't buy anything yet. What do you mean? I would like to buy 14 totems. Oh, yeah. actually, kind of... Yeah. Oh, come on, that's still unsatisfying. That is pretty cool. There you go. Pleasure doing business with you. And how long is it going to take for you to burn through those? We'll see. Rain! Wait, I should get a totem. I should get a totem first. I should really get a totem first. Rain, 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 rain. Time to pop over totems I just bought. Pim, could you possibly stand somewhere in the open and very easy to hit with nothing in particular? Oh yeah, sure. That seems not suspicious at all. So what about just right outside your totem shop? Just stand right there. Yeah, okay. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I'm standing. I'm gonna pop a tom doing this. Oh, yeah. That's satisfying. Well, now I have to return the favor. Okay. Wait, I don't have a mace with me. Wait one second. That's quite a crucial part in that. Here it is. Uh, yoink. All these times. Ow! Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let, let me get another top. Oh, you're gone. Ow! Time to go watch him murder some... It's so villages. fast. What's so fast? The red? No, the... Ice boat. Oh, here it is. Do you see me? I uh, no. Where, where have you gone? I see a bunch of boats. Oh, there you are. You're not spinning fast. From my perspective, I'm spinning, like, incredibly fast. From you my do. perspective... Um, you're doing this. Oh. Oh, 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 nope, too slow. Oh, oh I need to refund rockets. <laughs> and <laughs> off he goes into the distance. Mr. <laughs> Ravager, Mr. <laughs> Ravager. Oh. Got him. Hey, let me help you out, big guy. Yeah, okay. uh, I just I see you coming this. every time, that's the thing. No, you. Just making it a bit harder. Just adding a bit of challenge. Hey, good job. Oh, thank you. I'm telling Iron Golem so doing a good job, not you, Bozo. Ow, okay, if they've noticed me, I'm gonna leave. Oh man, so satisfying. Splat! Champion! Ow. Who tried and failed miserably? <gasps> DUDE! <laughs> Wait, already won? Oh. Strange. Oh my oh, god, you are- Sleep, sleep, sleep! <laughs> YOU! <laughs> my bad. No! <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Yeah. Don't you miss with me, boy. Why are you actively messing with me, boy? I just said I should just. I'm not, I, I'm, I'm not doing anything about what you're talking about. Why am I not allowed to select region? I don't know. It's like a. Dude! Do, do, do. do you want me to try and select region? Oh, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough! Why, why was it not letting me fly? My god, you almost actually killed me. I, I, would, li I would like to replace my taunt before you try and kill me, please. Permission denied. Ah! <laughs> I was moving around because I, I, I knew you'd be trying to do that. No. No. It's a good, re it's good job I got up two times. Oh, damn it, that would have been a perfect option to dimension. I'll stand still, okay? You failed. That you failed. So you will forever. Rue this day. Where have you gone? Yeah, you failed, man. I'm gone. Where, where, where did you go? You left me here. Yeah, I'm going back to base. No. Yeah. You left me here. I, I did. Yeah, that is that is correct. Oh, no, I stranded without rockets. Except for the fact I followed you. Hi. You stranded here without rockets. 
Well, that means I can fly away and you can't. <sighs> oh, I still popped a top mole in the air. Aww. Would you like to buy some rockets? I don't have any diamonds on me. I don't have an ender chest. Hmm. I just murdered oh, that I bee. Did you see that? Yeah, I did that see cold, that. Cold-blooded murder. I also love cold-blooded murder. I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't have a totem. But I do still have regen from the totem. What? Not taking a single heart of damage yet. Ah, oh, totem regen. No! Back here. You'll never take me alive! Are you sure about that? Well, in any case, you aren't planning to take me alive. I need to heal, man. Could you, could you just let me heal, please? I just want to heal. I just want to pop your totem. I just want to heal. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't, don't mind. No, pumpkin. 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 It's going to be very easy to tell where I'm going. Uh... No! Yeah. No! No! Pumpkins. No. Oh, God. Hey, that's not allowed. You don't know where I am. I'm completely hidden from South Brick. Oh, I thought that skeleton was you. <laughs> where are you? I was above. Oh, come on. Milk has Frostwalker in his boots for some godforsaken reason, and because he just keeps entering my base willy-nilly, I keep finding ice everywhere. By the way, I got this heavy core last stream. I was doing a bunch of trial chambers to get ominous bottles, and at some point, I got one. So now Monster Man has a spare one, and I have a spare one, and I think both Milk and Flan are willing to pay stacks of diamond blocks in order to get one, so that was a good find. I'm not sure whether it's a good idea to sell one to Milk, though, because the amount of shenanigan potential he has with a mace is limitless. There's still so many things I want to do. I want to connect the raid farm with a nether portal, I want to expand the nether hub in general, maybe place some portals in obscure biomes we have to fly towards every time. I need to finish the back of my mountains. I think actually that's the biggest priority, because currently the back of my mountains look ugly as frick and people have been complaining about it and it's time i stop putting it off all right i've got it the material so now it's time to finally start working on the back wait it it it's all done so if you just ignore your problems for long enough they just magically go away. Any advice regarding financial decisions, like choices or the betterment of any person's well-being, provoked recruiting, any form of psychological therapy expressed by kindly enough, and facetiously meant, and tend to entertain purposes only. Just kidding, of course. You know me. I'm just a little prankster like that. No, what it actually took was for me to just sit down, put up something to watch on my second monitor, and just start placing blocks. It took about two hours, but it felt like much longer than that. Fortunately, Milk was kind enough to provide some andesite, and even helped out a little at some point. I actually thought that finishing the back wouldn't really make that much of a difference, but now they suddenly feel like actual mountains instead of just cardboard cutouts of them. The underside of it is a complete death trap though. I barely lit it up. It is crawling with mobs. Seriously, it's bad. Blonde needed to find a warm ocean biome for all kinds of coral reasons, and I was looking for one to help him find it, and on the way, I found a trident drowned, and it dropped one. So now I have two spares, and that guy just threw a trident at me, so maybe... Possibly... No. Oh, there's another one. You? No, where is he? There. Nope. There's so many drowned. Turns out only warm ocean biomes are allowed, and these are lukewarm ocean biomes. Ooh, this is a very big mountain biome. Perhaps big enough to house a deep dark beneath it? Oh, that looks promising. Yep. We are going deeper. Come on. Ooh, there's a diamond over there. Yes. Yes. No. No. Come on. Those mobs keep triggering the... No! It hurt me. It hurt me. Frick. I don't think there is a deep dark anywhere. Or oh, there is a deep dark, but not an ancient city. This is so pretty! Look at this! Whoa!
I haven't explored the west side of the border since the last expansion, and it turns out there's more warm stuff here, like jungle biomes, lukewarm ocean, and buried treasure, so that's fun to check out. Wow, this guy certainly has an interesting architectural plan. Okay, I've hit the border, so now we're going to go alongside it and see if I can maybe find some interesting biomes. More buried treasure. And even more. Oh, also, there's some more stuff over here. What is this? Trident drown, perhaps? It would be hilarious if I get a third trident. Ooh! Ooh! What? What? Frozen peaks! I've never seen this before. There's goats here. Why is that an achievement? I, I don't get it. That's it. Deep dark. Uh, yep, that would be a deep dark. Uh-oh. Damn the skedaddle. Maybe there's something down here in this other mountain biome? Let's see. I saw lush caves pop up for a moment. Yeah, deep dark. I feel like every mountain biome I've visited so far has a deep dark underneath them, just not that every one of them has an ancient city. So I must have gotten pretty lucky with the first one, because that one did have an ancient city. Uh, I think it was just here, in the other one. That is a... Whoa, is that an infected trial chamber? I gotta check this out. No way! That's sick. Well, I've looted this trial chamber for as much as I could, but there weren't really any vaults anywhere, so I guess I just have seven trial keys now. Anyway, I'd like to continue exploring the deep dark now. But I don't think there is much anything here anymore? What? There's just a singular vine hanging from the ceiling here. Yeah, there's a mountain over here, there's a mountain over there, and there's a mountain over there, but none of this has an ancient city underneath it. Come on, don't mind me, I'm just watching. There we go. Whoa, look at this! These cliffs! This is insane! There we go, another deep dark. Let's see if this one does have an ancient city in it. I heard fire. It said fire crackles in the subtitles. Oh! Yes! I should do this properly and get some wool. Okay, if I place a shulker box, we're good. Okay, let's get this. Are there multiple shriekers around, or can I just theoretically... Rick. Run. No. How close is that one? It won't find me, it won't find me. Oh, this is like a side section. I don't see a shrieker there. So I could theoretically bridge over to it. Theoretically. Oh no! This place is so huge! Look at this! There's like six shriekers there! Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to block this off. Oh, that just didn't work. It just did not work. Give me that. Oh, one noticed me. So, theoretically, if I open this... Yeah, no. Mmm... Right. Ooh, it's this one. Colored blocks and stuff? This is, like, storage for, for wool. Uh-oh. Mm-mm. Starting to run low on food. Okay, so there's, there's chests over there, I think. That was the place with, like, the six shriekers. One is in this close. You know what? Let's grab this. 
nothing in here. And I'm pretty sure I saw one at some chest at some point, but then I uh, like fled before I can open it. Or take it, I guess. Uh oh. Ah, oh, come on. Hey, I've been here. This all the deep darks are connected. Oh no, it's, I'm gonna pop, aren't I? No, I'm not. Okay, I'll just leave with one half heart left. Oh. I'll come back to the sunset. Or sun up, no sunset. Bum ba ba bum ba ba bum. Oh. Anyway, that'll be it for this episode of Bozotopia. Bye!